Next on our list of stocks to consider in this space is Ital Tile, which of course has a fabulous history in this country, founded by the Ravazzotti family in 1969. Very strong player, incorporated ceramic, which was its company that is involved with mm -hmm. the production of homewares, but it's really best known for its tile distribution and sanitary wear market share, which is a um, very impressive Ital Tile stores as well as CTM and a couple of other brands. Market capitalization, 14.8 billion rand. Price to earnings ratio, 16.57 and dividend yield of 2%. So mm. uh, you've got to hand it to them. This share chart looks as good as any you'll see on the market. Let's Correct. put it up while Devin talks. Correct. Yeah, no, I mean, it's been a rock star performer um, from sub, I think it was around 4 rand to 15 rand where it's trading at the moment. Mm. Really, really... Um, you know, they've stuck to their knitting, haven't they? You know, they, they know exactly what they sell. They know their target market. They've managed to optimize their supply chain. And what, what they've also had that, that's built a lot of value is their property portfolio. Yeah. So that's been very strategic for them, about two and a half billion rand there. And you put it all together and you've got a very niche um, focused player that, that's been great for shareholders. Yeah. There's some parts of the uh, transition and the management and the mm. uh, Ravazzotti family control yes. structure, which I don't entirely understand, mm. but that remains a block. It's about a 40% yep. holding, I it's think. about that, I think. That's fine. And as far as it goes, they've always had professional managers, Nick Booth, currently the CEO. Mm. And they've done that thing well where they've blended foreign sourcing of yes. stuff and locally manufactured stuff. Mm. from time to time depending on what the rand's doing yeah because obviously if you're selling you know tiles and you can source some of it locally some of it internationally it's good to get the blend right yeah and to be flexible in that way it's good they had a bit of a, a venture to australia i'm not quite sure how big that business is they seem to have emphasized it and then de-emphasized it and again i suppose that's mm. a sign of credible flexible management anything else to add did we show the share price Where's the share price? We were talking about there it earlier. Go. Good grief. There you go. That's what you want to see. Yeah. Starts at the bottom left, goes upwards to the right. Yeah. Simple <laughs> as that, right? So yeah. if, if, if only all of them could do that. So yeah, I mean, they've done really well. Is a, is a franchisee model as well. So, so they, they do franchise that out. Got a lot of house brands at the moment. So when the rand is weak and imports yeah. are expensive, they lean heavily on that. So they're able to pass value onto the customers. They service various LSMs as well through, the, through their, their store brands, Ital Tile, They've CTM. also got the Top T brand, which is a and cheaper, low end. Okay, so it's got tremendous heritage. Yeah. Do you think it can go even higher? Will yeah. we bet against them? I know no. when you see charts like that, there's a thinking thought that mm. happens. Well, I don't want to be the Muppet buying at the top, <laughs> but well, I mean, if you'd said that any time in the last five years, correct. you'd have been wrong not to be hot on them. Correct. Well, you, you're not paying an, an overly rich valuation for yeah. it. Um, so, so based on that track history, I'd back them. Hot. Yeah. Yes, I go hot too.